Hey everyone, peace and love. Hope you're doing alright so far. Just want you guys to know that I love you, I appreciate you, and I want you to step outside of your comfort zone so you can be the better version of your best self. We're continuing with the series, and like I said, I'm opening my heart to you just so you guys can have a better connection with me because like I said, my aim is to show you guys that there is a better way of life. You can raise your vibration and focus on peace, happiness, and love and just have an overall better experience between you and everyone that you interact with in this world. All right? So let's jump in. So this is Be Yourself Part 2. Now, um, because I'm actually telling you guys about being yourself, I'm telling you um, a little bit about myself personally. So when I was younger, I was a very wonderful, awesome child. Still am. I'm just times 100,000% now better. Now, I behaved myself. I was very loving and very caring. And persons always took advantage of that love and that um, genuine caringness. And I went through a lot of abuse, a lot of trauma, a lot of um, disadvantage was taken off me. And even when I stepped into relationships, I was always the empath who was always there to love and understand and appreciate. And I've always met narcissists and persons who had ulterior motives. They took advantage of my love and my kindness and they abused it. Now, I have no regrets because if I never went through all of that, I would not be able to be the person that I am right now. And I am a very appreciative. I have no regrets. I say this often in all my videos. There are no mistakes. There are only learning opportunities. Once you're willing to understand that you go through these things in order to change and allow you to better yourself and to grow, transform your mind, grow consciously, grow spiritually, emotionally, and also physically. Because if you hold on to what the persons did to you, if you hold on to the hurt, if you hold on to the past traumas, you will never be able to fully heal. The physical scars might heal. But the psychological and mental and emotional scars may not heal until you take the time out to get therapy or to even speak about how you feel and the interaction or even to just heal and meditate and just overall improve your life so you can let go of that portion because if you're living in the past, you're not able to enjoy the present moment. If you're holding on to the past, you're not able to step into the future and to step into your greatness. There's always room for improvement. Never you think you're too wise or too smart or too accomplished to learn something new. We learn something every single day. And if you think you are great and mighty, you have another thing coming. There's always something more to life. There's always another chapter, another corner, another world to explore. Because life is all about learning and interacting and loving, loving authentically. And that's what I found out through all of that trauma because when I went through all of that, I never once had the notion to hurt or harm or hurt someone the way that they hurt me because deep in my soul, I'm a loving, genuine, authentic person. And that's just the truth. Hey, peace and love. Hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something new and I hope you're working to become the better version of your best self. I want you guys to know that I love you and I want you to like, comment and share this video with everyone you know. Have an awesome day.